Take This Waltz really was for me, how do I create a sense of how Toronto feels to me? And I, I wanted to sort of create a sense of how I felt about the city and my love for it, which I still have. Um, and so things are idealized and things aren't where they should be. It's like, you know, what if we had an accessible waterfront that you could actually run to, you know, if you lived in the West End? Like, what would that be like if we hadn't just sprung up condos everywhere? And so it was about that visceral, emotional sense of what Toronto feels like in the summer to somebody who loves it. I have felt guilt over that in the past few years because I've met people who have moved here because they saw Take This Waltz and they thought that <laughs> That's what the city was. I'm like, sorry, yeah, no, you can't, you can't just run to the water from, from that place. <laughs> like, yeah, I've, I've definitely had moments of um, feeling like I mythologized something and then wasn't clear enough that this is a work of geographical fiction. Um, so I hope those people forgive me and I hope they like Tor Toronto and I'm sorry if I made it seem different than what it's like. Lying awake and the tuning in on you. If I was young, it didn't stop you coming through. Oh, oh. I think we shot that scrambler sequence pretty much all day, and thank God Michelle loved that ride as much as I do. Luke, as well, was on it a lot, though not as much as Michelle, which is good, because I don't think it agreed with him in quite the same way. But I had, a, I had to be the parent on a field trip recently with um, a grade two class to Center Island. <laughs> And I was like, we're going to the Scrambler. And I made those kids ride that Scrambler so many times. One of them may or may not have barfed. I may or may not have had to explain something to a parent later about what happened. But I was just so excited to get on the Scrambler with these kids. And thank God most of them, most of them liked them as, as much as I did. But it is an amazing experience. When I first started thinking about Take This Waltz, I was really interested in this Buddhist concept of that we have a gap, that we have a gap in our lives that we walk around with. This is just like part of existence, this whole concept of emptiness, and that we do so many things to try to fill that emptiness, and they don't work, that actually what we need to do is kind of accept the emptiness as part of our experience. So I'd been doing tons of reading about Buddhism, and I ended up really wanting to make a film that was about somebody where something felt missing, and we see them through the course of the film try to fill that gap and fix that thing that's missing, only end up to end up in exactly the same position in the same place they were at the beginning. So that was the concept for the film. And then it became really interesting to just explore that through romantic relationships, because I think that's a way that we do that commonly, is we try to, you know, we try to not be alone. You know, we try to not suffer, we try to not feel empty, we try to fill that with another person. And at the beginning of love, it, that always looks infinitely possible. And then we're so devastated and horrified when it's not. And often we'll interpret that as meaning this was the wrong person, this was the wrong move, I just have to make a different move. So I got really curious about making a film about that. Mm -hmm. 